Right, so this one's quite a story, actually. A refugee who stabbed Brit to death uh, by a subway had already killed two other people in Serbia. Turns out that the 21-year-old gent that he stabbed, uh, Thomas Roberts, to death over a row over an e-scooter in Bournemouth, the guy stepped in to try and break up a row between uh, this immigrant and his mate. Um, the immigrant then stabbed him with a huge knife and he had multiple cardiac arrests and died. Um, the young man looked like he had a very promising future ahead of him, but that was cut short. And this all happened on a night going home. But what it amazed me was he's managed to make his way across Europe, changing his name as he goes, and nobody picked up anything. And when he came to this country, um, he again changed his name and managed to get... Well, he claimed he was a 14-year-old schoolboy, but of course, right? And um, he got put with a foster carer, I believe it was, who was terrified of him because he carried a blade. Uh, but probably being a do-gooder to start with, obviously that person's had their their opinions changed of this sort of thing and probably won't have anything to do with it again. But when he got put into school um, in 2019, it says here, right, he first arrived in the UK in 2019, told authorities he was 14 when he was 18. And then he went on uh, his arrest at 16. He was uh, determined he was, in fact, 20. Anyway, moving on. So he came out of Afghanistan he made his way uh, into Serbia, where he came out and he was interested in coming to the UK. That uh, was blown out. Uh, so he then went uh, to Norway, I believe. Then from Norway, he made his way back to Serbia, where he managed to get um, weapons from gypsies. Great. And he was arguing with traffickers whether it was about trying to get himself back to the UK or whatever, and with a Kalashnikov at short distance, opened up and put numerous rounds into their head, so it seems. Um, and when the taxi driver that he, he'd obviously got in a taxi gave up the details, he was found guilty of the murder in his absence and given 20 years. He was also then done for drugs in Italy, and then... By hook nor crook, he finds himself on the British shores with a large history of murdering people because at the time of the killings, he was 15. Uh, and a very efficient killer at that, by the look of it. Um, but we're talking about a lunatic, hardened criminal that had come out of Afghanistan. Now, I don't know about you, I've seen video footage of the training camps where they teach these kids in Afghanistan to handle weapons from a very young age. And then when these people decide they're going to go on manoeuvres without any permission and head into Europe, decided they're going to live a better life, not good. So then while he's at school, he's trying to blag all of the kids to send him nudes, gets into fights, etc., etc. And the long and the short of it, he's an absolute psychopath, which no British uh, intelligence, well, no intelligence they had on him, to, because... Every place he went to, he changed his name. Um, now, I'm guessing that they probably didn't fingerprint him as he made his way through anywhere because that would have been against his human rights and wouldn't have checked his teeth, which would have told you straight away exactly what age he was because that was against his human rights and all the do-gooders made sure that that was the case so the NGOs can make sure that these weapons actually, and I mean weapons as in people, get into our country. But all the do-gooders that are saying diversity is our strength and we should have open borders... So if it was your son that had just been stabbed to death by one of these happy-go-lucky charmers that have come into our country illegally and that have had a, a history of misery behind them, right? If that happened to your kid, would you be, oh, while well, it's just a one-off? I bet you'd be stupid enough to probably say that as well. We don't want these people in our country. We don't see why we need to have these people in our country. They bring nothing but misery to this country. None of them are happy-go-lucky. None of them are ever going to assimilate. None of them are going to fit in. All they're going to do is head straight for criminality and try to make money out of other people's misery. And the worst of it is, the kids in the UK of his age are nowhere near prepared to deal physically or mentally with a person who's that advanced, who's come from war-torn countries, who knows how to handle all sorts of weapons, and who's seen violence as a normal day of life and just doesn't bat an eyelid at it. Now, you've only got to see the man's face. 
he is a monster. And when he gets arrested by armed police for the murder, just didn't bat an eyelid. I don't know what... You, you probably find this story in the next eight months that Plunk's probably absconded from an open prison or something. This has just got absolute cluster written all over it, hasn't it? And it, it, this, you're just going to see more and more and more of this because they can only keep an act up for so long because many of them are just wrong uns. But anyway, there it is. Enjoy diversity. I mean, what happened? How does that guy kill? Was it a mainly peaceful stabbing? Probably. I just boils my... And there's a load more of it. Home office investigation will be the next story on the other channel into missing kids that have been... Yeah, we'll get onto that. I did a video um, that looks like it's going to take off at the moment quite well. Um, it's basically about uh, Walter Mitty's. And there's a lot of uh, ex-servicemen that comment on that. And I'd like to actually do a live stream with some ex-servicemen talking about the more fun parts of their time, like some of the pranks they used to get up to and that kind of stuff. But you probably end up finding a Walt Mitty will try and get on there. So what I would do is I would end up getting somebody from the military to vet said people that come on to make sure that I don't end up getting a Walt Mitty on there because I've never served. Um, other than that, that's about it. We've got a load more stories to go today. Keep up with content. I put evenly out. If I do one on here, the next one will be on um, either uh, Simon Evans' channel or Rev on a rant. And like yesterday, I did a, a video that was a real rant. I mean, swearing, shouting, and effing, jeffing. But it was um, it went on to Rumble, um, and it was about the lies that we've been told over the last two years. Can't talk about it on here, obviously. So we put it out there. Um, hope you're liking the content. Like, share, subscribe, do all the obvious things. And uh, don't forget to check the other channels. A lot of you aren't being notified at the moment because the main channel's in the gulag, and I think, actually, so the others. YouTube does this uh, every so often. It just stops you getting any views, and it starts reducing your subs, and then all of a sudden it picks up again, and there it is. There is no rhyme or reason to YouTube that I can think of except somebody with blue hair there going, don't like you, and pressing a button. There you go. Anyway, hope this finds you well. I hope you're enjoying There's a bit of sunshine out there at the moment, but it's bitterly cold, I've got to be honest. I went down the shop. You know when you've been to the shop and you get everything you need, but you forget one thing, and that one thing was probably the most important? Yeah, so I've got to go back down there in a bit with gout. Not good. Right, hope you're all good. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>